iPhone comes out in 2007, that phone does not have an app store. Then iPhone 3G comes out, it has an app store, right? Or maybe 3GS. Then they add a front camera on the iPhone 4, and then on the iPhone 4S, it becomes available on Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, anything but AT&T, right? So I had no idea that you knew all this, that you <laughs> yeah, were a so, smartphone geek. Uh, I used to review smartphones for CNBC, very briefly. Um, but no, just that those generations, I mean, you can see it going from this experimental, we think this will work, but we're not sure how, to like by iPhone 4S, that is the iPhone that you basically still have today, right? I mean, it's different, it's improved in a million ways, um, but the, the core model uh, already existed. And I think BMW is a great place to look at this because you look at the early cars, the i3 and the i8, very interesting technological concepts, both offered these weird you know, powertrains with the range extender on the i3 or plug-in hybrid on the i8, but they're wackadoo projects. Then Gen 2 is like, converted gas cars like i4 and stuff and then they have one specialty platform the ix which we love but it mm -hmm. was ninety thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars now we're entering gen 3 this is what nuea class that's what they're talking about is but it's also happening at mercedes all these other places 